Hi, I'm Peter Cowan, the Bee Whisperer. This should be a short one just to show you a neat little trick that you can do to entertain the kids or a, uh, or your friends or just to amuse yourself to be able to watch the bees feeding nice and close up. Okay, so just, just watch what we're going to do here. We're going to make a small scale pollen feeder. Basically, I've got a few cottage cheese containers here. Just to show you what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these containers and cut them open pretty much like that. And I'm just going to put another mark directly opposite that about here. So I'm going to cut out this bit, do it again here. It doesn't really matter where it is and it doesn't matter the exact dimensions. You don't want to cut the lip, so you want to maintain the strength of the container. And that's it. So, very carefully, don't cut yourself. And that's all we need to do. I'll put a little mark here. That's it. I'll do a couple more of them. And this is going to be the entrance bees are going to go in to get the pollen substitute. Nope, oh, no, that end opposite here. We'll not worry about that previous mark. I'll just pull X here. And we'll do it again. Just opposite. Put an X there. Okay. Now we'll take it outside. And now what we're going to do? Got them set up outside. Any old kind of spray paint. Now any color will do. This is just to make it look better. You don't really need to paint them. This is just so it doesn't look like you've got a cottage cheese container stuck to your house or your tree or wherever you're going to put it. Now bees do like the color blue. So I've got uh, blue is a good one. Yellow would be a good one. Pretty much any color. But they can't see red. They'll see red as a dark color, but not that that won't work. They'll all work. Now we'll just let them dry. Okay, now they are pretty dry. They still smell the paint a little bit, so 
I'm gonna see if this doesn't really matter. Half a pound of pollen substitute, which you can get at the store here. So half a pound of pollen substitute in there. Just put your lid back on. And what I'd do just for security, use a rubber band to make sure that lid stays on. Now it's weatherproof. We've got a little hole in the back here, which we can a nail will hold it on. So let's go outside and get it working. And the hole, push it through in the hole, and there we go. And I'll bet you, within an hour, there's bees all over this. We'll see, so we'll see. Time now, it's about 11.30. So we'll see how long it takes them to find it. Smell the paint might put them off for a little while. But we'll come back and check it out a little later. To show you know, I know it's going to work. Have a look. There's an unpainted one. I should appreciate. A little blue one would look a little nicer. Wait and see how that blue one's getting on soon. Okay, time is 2.30, I've been out at the yards, and there is our pollen substitute feeder, and the bees are very happy with it indeed. Now one thing we have, you have to note is that the pollen substitute feeders are only going to work until there's a natural, poll natural pollen in the trees. So the next three weeks or so, maybe the next month, the pollen substitute feeders will be a lot of fun. So cut yourself up a little yogurt container and put some pollen substitute in it. And have some fun with your bees. I'm Peter Cowan, the Bee Whisperer. See you next time.